Hey guys, it's National Fishing Airsoft here, and today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys today. Um, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, and this is unboxing of kind of fishing gear and um, just kind of gear in general, but specifically fishing gear. Um, this is like a, I think it's about 125 bucks. I spent about 125 to 150. I can't remember the exact number. I'll try to come up with a, um, a better number later on. But that's about the amount of money I spent on this haul. I guess you could say haul, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's just fishing gear. And I am standing up today for this unboxing. Totally not because uh, there's nowhere else to do it. I don't have a good table to do it on. But because I... Um, want to yeah I, I just want to stand up so first thing oh yeah and th this video is going to include mystery tackle box and a um and fishing care package um and i'm not sure if fishing care package sent me the two boxes i asked for and i ordered but hopefully they did yeah i spent a good at least 150 bucks i can now recall now that i'm thinking about it i spent at least 150 actually make that 200 i think it was about 200 200 bucks on this so far so Let's get into it. First thing I've got here, trusty dusty um, package. It's the biggest, oh gosh. It, it's coming through, that's not good. It's, it's already coming through the package. Um, as you might guess, this is a fishing rod. Um, I'm just not very happy that it's already coming through. Oh yeah, by the way, I also got this. Don't shut on me thing. Pretty cool. This is a micro spin combo combo rod um there we go um hopefully it's not broken please do not be broken oh gosh okay here's the rod it's a micro it's like a pretty much like a really small Little rod, um, almost like an ultra light. Um, I was honestly thinking it was gonna be a lot smaller than this, but you know, it's a nice little bluegill rod or something. Catch some small bass on it. It's a Shakespeare. Um, I, I got it because it's extremely cheap, and because the ones they have at Walmart, all the tips are broken, and it looks like this one's fine, and all the inserts, the eyes are fine. Um, so yeah, just a typical Shakespeare rod. I might replace the, the line later on, I don't know. I don't really care that much. Yeah, so it, this is just a rod I got, just for fun. Um, by the way, I did get a um, Dock Demon, which I'm not, I, it's in the storage somewhere, I'm too lazy to go get it. But I did get a Dock Demon, and I'm gonna make videos with the Dock Demon of trying to catch like huge catfish. I'm not gonna bring it out, you guys know what a Dock Demon looks like. I'll pull up a picture right here. They're really cool little I mean, fishing poles for really cheap. So that's the first thing on the list, Shakespeare fishing rod real combo next thing i was set this up a normally huge box for no reason i don't know why i was given this huge box but i was given a huge box and you know what we do with huge boxes we open them up i think i, I think i know what this might be but i'm not too sure whoa my gosh look at all that bubble wrap. What the heck? That's enough bubble wrap to like make a boat out of. Are you serious? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. So, I was uh, going to get an ice auger, but then I decided to cancel the order because, you know, it was kind of an unrealistic order. Um, so, yeah, so I don't have an ice auger, but I did get this, one of these ice fishing spoons, ladles, that you're supposed to use um, to skim, take the ice out of the hole you make, um, which is pretty much completely useless to me, unless I'm going to open up some huge soup kitchen and make spaghetti. Um, so that goes back there, and I got a pepper spray, and that's literally all that's in this box. Like what? Okay. I got pepper spray. Yeah, the reason I got pepper spray was just because um, I thought about carrying it around. And it's it's not too it's not too big. Um, 
I don't know, this is like, it's, it's a little big to carry around in your pocket to me. Like, I want something very, very small. But, but, I'll have this. Just because, honestly, I don't know if all my packages even got here. I'm a little concerned. I might have to double check in the storage later on because I remember getting another package. Anyway, next package. This one right here. I think I know what this is. It's, it's a pretty heavy package. Um, no surprise to me. Let's try again. Yes, you can see by the form, the elegant form. What in the world? It's our. See that? It's got like some rust on it already or something. You see that? The heck? Please don't be rusted. Okay, got like a little hatchet thing. It's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Now I can chop down stuff. It's a nice little camping axe. Um, it does come with a nice sheath, which I believe, yep, you can just put it through your belt loop and then you'll have an axe to carry around. So, I'm not really too sure why I got this. Oh yeah, um, I can go ice fishing with this, I guess. I can just, I don't know poke a hole through the ice. The handle is extremely comfortable. It's a wet, it's by Whetstone um, Cutlery. So, the handle's really, really grippy and comfortable. I love the handle on this thing. I'm gonna have to go test it out later on. Uh, next thing is just this little box. I already opened it up because I had to use it. Um, just, just, microphone, just, um, this is just batteries for the camera I'm using. Alrighty. This, I know exactly what's in this. Um, it is, well I'm not gonna say it because then I'll kinda ruin the whole point of it. My gosh, these bags. You know, I guess it would be more effective to rip it. And I should, probably should have blurred out my address, but you know what, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not popular or anything, no one cares. Okay, you guys ready to be shocked? Are you ready to be shocked? Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so this right here, um, the packaging looks a little old. I'm not sure when this was created, and this is a lot, lot, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is a fishing rod pen, um, and yeah, pretty self-explanatory. It's a fishing rod pen. I will demonstrate. It claims to be very portable, very compact, light, and easy to use. Suitable for fishing from a boat, from a dam, and on ice. Can't go wrong with that, I guess. Operation. Tells you how to put it together. Tells you gear ratio 511, maintenance. Uh, no one needs those instructions. So first, upon opening it, we have the actual which is already scratched up. Oh gosh. Okay. Please don't tell me this is broken or something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This cannot be right. Maybe I unscrewed the wrong. I think I unscrewed. Oh, I unscrewed the wrong side. Okay. Pretend that never existed. Did I unscrew the wrong side? Yes, I did. This is broken. It's okay. Sorry. Just. Excuse that moment of rage from me while I try to figure out how this thing's supposed to work. My gosh, this is a lot less um, usable than I thought it was going to be. So this is just, oh my gosh, this is so small. Okay. So, obviously, it's what it looks like it is. It's a little ice, fi it's a little fishing rod. Um, is this out all the way? Okay. And then you have your little um, reel right here, which boasts an, uh, an astonishing 5-1-1 gear ratio. I'm not going to put the line through it because there's no point. Um, oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten this. This, this might have been a slight mistake on my side, on my part for getting this. 
Um, of course, the metal and plastic are very, very cheap plastic. And if this thing could unscrew itself, there we go. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here we go. Trying to screw this puppy together. Alrighty. Assembly time is roughly like five minutes. So by the time. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it does work as you see. Um, pretty self explanatory. It's a nice little fishing rod. I guess it'll work. I might make a video using it soon, but I'm not going to demonstrate it today because it's cold outside and. I really do not want to put this through their eyes. The eyes are so small. It's, it looks they look like they're smaller than big caster eyes. But as you can see, that's the rod and the reel. The reel weighs like eight times more than the rod does. So I guess that's that's that product. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. A little bit bigger, but what can you expect from a rod that cheap? Now. I'm not too sure where, what happened to my other two boxes. I should have at least one or two more boxes. But hopefully, I don't know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little scared. I don't know why I didn't get them. Um, so, on to the next box. I'm just going to go on with the review because, yeah. So, on to the next one. We have, we have the famous, it's not too famous, but it does have, um, there, it does have a lot of criticism. Fishing care package. This is the fishing care package. Now, I hope that they sent me my two packages, because if not, then I should have this one, I should have another one, and I should also have a, a thing of um, lures that I don't have right now, which is kind of concerning to me. So, let's open this puppy up and see what see what's inside. Okay, they did send, okay, okay. From, from first gla glance, first glance, okay, maybe. First glance, I can tell that they did send me what I asked for. So it did not come in two packages, it just came in one. Let me give you guys a view. I know I already opened it, but here's what it looks like. Open it up. Fishing care package. So, the contents of this box should include a one pound random lure um, assortment and a um, pond hopping box. Now, I've got to say something. I would not actually recommend you buying this. From, from the reviews I've heard and from the feedback I've heard, so far, I wouldn't re recommend it, but it could change with me reviewing this box. Because from what I've heard, the um, the worth and the value of it is not as good as it could be. And what I've heard also is that they don't send your box half the time or stuff, something like that. That it's very sketchy. I've heard it's very sketchy. So let's go on to just quickly review this um, one pound one pound bag. Um, it does doesn't really feel like one pounds. Of course, I, I don't have a weight scale on me, so. They just put it in a random Ziploc bag, pretty much. Unbranded Ziploc, same thing. Uh, I'm going to open it up and give you a little bit of a view of what's inside. Okay, so it definitely, they definitely did pack a good amount of um, soft lures in here. Um, Alright. Smells a little fishy here. You got some good, like, little, ooh. Now, okay, excuse my ignorance, but I, I I don't know what to call a lot of these. Of course, this is like a little, like a worm that you can wacky rig, like a Senko looking thing. Um, they do, ooh, like a little fluke looking bait right here. Um, some grubs. You got, see, they, they include any like good trailers. Oh, maybe they don't have trailers in the thing. Another kind of little grub. Um, do they have any like, Mess looking worms. I don't know. See, I'm not even sure what. Ooh, look at that one. See, I, oh, is this hollow bodied? No, it just has a bubble in it. Okay. It has a bubble in it. I'm not going to pop it. Maybe I pop it. Okay. Anyway, one of the, I guess one of the main things to do with this, um, this or any mystery kind of box is to introduce you into new baits. So this will definitely give me a, um, access to a good selection of new different kinds of baits and lures. So I'm just going to give you guys a couple, just an overview of what there is inside. Of course, I would say there's a good amount of these. Um, probably that's what like half of the thing is. Um, ooh, look at that one right there. Some of these look really juicy. Um, what else is there? Oh, that's a huge fluke right there. 
I'm not sure if that's a huge one. It looked bigger to me. Um, what else? There, here. There's, there's a really tough, colorful one I saw. Oh yeah, there's this one right here. This one, that looks pretty interesting. That look almost looks like a, um, I don't know what this looks like. It, I don't know. It looks like it could be like a little frog. Like if you just, if you, like if you can get it, if it does float and you can just kind of have it on top of the water, but I, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's most of basically what's in here. Just a bunch of, oh, there's this one right here. I don't know how, I don't know how well this will swim though. This looks like a chunky a little, like a shad. I'm not sure if that di discoloration is there purposely or not, but that looks like it could work. It has potential because of the, maybe if they had like a little bit of a red tint here or something, that could help, help it. Um, what else? Ooh, they've got like a um, beaver tail, like a, I love these beaver tails. They, they work for us. What else? Oh, uh, I, I guess that, that's, that's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take every single one out, but that's an overview of what's in that one. Um, now onto this box, onto the rest of the box. The rest of this box, um, I ordered a pond topper box. That's the other one. So let's see what's in here. First thing coming out, do they have a card like the other ones do, like the other boxes do? No, they don't. They don't have a fancy card. Shame on them. I'm just kidding. They have, ooh, this is going to be my first genuine legit frog so um you got a castaic castaic i can't castiac castaic I, I can't even pronounce their name but they've got um like a it's like a popper frog so you, you've, it's got the popper kind of inside it's a pretty big frog this thing is going to catch some beasts a toad um and it's just kind of telling about what it is on the back. So, and this is the solid, solid lead leg frog. Um, I have one very, very similar to this. Actually, the one I have that's very similar to this, it, it, actually it's not very similar, it's just a frog. It's smaller and I, I found it while I was out fishing and I caught my first top water on that. Um, top water on a frog, correction. Next, oh, it just fell out of the packaging. Um, next we have the XRM Spy Series. Reaction strike, tournament grade hooks, da -da. that's the thing. And here is the actual bait. I wonder, see, I, I wonder if the value is here. If they, see if they included a value, that would be nice. Actually, the top, first top water for, um, bass I've ever caught was on something like this. Although it wasn't exactly like this. It did have two treble hooks. It had one of these propeller looking things. I don't know, I can't remember if it was in the front or the back or maybe both, but it was wooden and it was wooden. And um, he just crushed this and completely destroyed this one. So hopefully that'll be good. I'm not sure if that's how, how to how to fish this that one. Um, yeah, it's a sinking one. So and this is the four inch. So that was a pretty pretty big one. Um, what else? Oh, we do have. They did include a pretty big size spinner bait. Like look how big the spinner bait is. At least to me, this looks huge. It's by Freedom. Um, and it claims to have an advanced inter oh, and it's just, just an interchangeable hook system. That that's interesting. I've never really seen that in a bait. Create and conquer. It's a seven sixteenth out ounce. Um, so oh yeah, it has directions on how to remove the hook. So that's actually the biggest spinner bait I have in my collection. In my tackle box, whatever you want to call it. So here we have some flukes by Excite Baits. Um, they're baby bass. Uber Shad, baby, and there's five of them, and it claims to have infused with Excite Attractant. Um, tournament proven, premium plastic lures. Of course, one of the biggest kind of selling points in a lot of these baits is to put the word tournament anywhere in it, and you know, so people will buy it. Um, next, we have Berkeley Power Bait, um, and these are some lizards. Um, so I've never, I don't know, I, I haven't even actually, see, I, I, I've never, ex See, this is good to experiment with new baits. So I've never had these before. Um, my friend, I, I might have found a couple, but I've never actually bought them or found them. And then we have like these um, grub looking things. Some of them were in that one pound bag. So that's the pond hopper bag. Is it worth it? Maybe. Yeah, it could, it could, it could be worth it. Um, although I'm not, 
too keen on how much the value of these are. I know this thing right here is probably very expensive. This thing is probably like, what, 12 bucks, 10 bucks, eight bucks, something like that. It's expensive. These things get expensive. And then I could only assume that this hard lure right here was pretty expensive. So I would say the value may, may be a little bit, it kind of, maybe it tops out a little bit above that. So that's with that box. Next box is the one and only Drum roll, please. Drum roll, are you drum rolling? Boop, 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 boop. Mystery Tackle Box. Now, I got the Mystery Tackle Box Pro, MTB Pro. I have a three month subscription, so I'm hyped about that. Um, and I used one of the promo codes of, you know, one of the pretty popular fisher guy, fishing guys here on YouTube, and I got some, off, some money off, and um, so yeah. I am so excited to get into this box. So, let's go. This time, I'm gonna do it correctly. Well, let you guys see the first hand look. Of course, I've not opened any of these boxes yet. I've actually had this box for a couple months. I'm not sure which see which month this is for, um, if it's for December or January, but I've had this box for a couple weeks. Did I say months? I've had this box for a couple days. I don't know. I've had it for a couple weeks. So let's open this box up. Let's see what's inside. Okay, you guys get the first view. I'm not even going to see what it's in at first. Okay. You guys see that? Alright, let's see what we have inside here. So, before I even see it, I can actually already see some things. It says, welcome aboard. It's just some welcoming stuff. One of the generic kind of welcome things. Manage your account. Okay, put that aside. Do we, where, ooh, first thing, we have a little sticker. Where is the, the, the famous card thing that people, that all the fancy guys look off of? I need my card. Where's my card? Fishing tricks. I need my car. I, 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 I didn't get a card. I didn't get a card unless it's in here. Nope, I didn't find a card. It's okay. It's okay though. Um, we'll do without it. So maybe maybe only the fancy YouTube people get cards. I don't know. Okay, I've already kind of looked at everything here, and I can see. First thing, we have this Lucky Craft USA um, series. It's by Lucky, obviously. Um, and it, is this a... Okay, it's weighted. I think it might have a, a rattle in it. Um, it's like a little jerk bait, I think. Looks like it. Again, I'm sorry for my ignorance. I am not a pro at this. And so, most of these baits, I assume, are going to be targeted towards kind of the wintry months, um, which I'm not all too excited about because winter fishing is horrible. But here's another one. Um, here's Randy's Swim and Runner. Claims to be a Bassmaster Classic Championship thing. Um, just one of those little jig head type deals. Interesting. Um, and, and I wonder what the value of all these are. It's probably a lot. Here are some, uh, it's just a Carolina kit. Um, I just got some brass weights and stuff. Nothing too exciting there. Although it, the, the right rig can really make a difference between catch and fish and not catch and fish. Here we have Catch.co Pro Series. But what is this? We got like it's just like a kind of almost like a lizard, lizardly looking thing. It's a called a gator hog, six pack. So nice. We got some hooks, some three out offset worm hooks. Interesting. And to top it off, oh, we still got a couple more. Um, we got net bait, get the net, black and blue, mini kicking. And these look, these are like, um, these are like the um, beaver tails. That's, what, that, that's basically what they look like. And I assume you can also use these as trailers. Um, and yeah, there's 10 of them in here, which is a pretty good deal. And to top it off, we've got the stealth trap. It's like a rattle trap. Um, I'm not sure. This looks like a very, very fancy rattle trap, though. And I, I don't know if you have, if I've told you guys this, but I love rattle traps. I don't know why. I just love the way they look, the way they sound, the way they swim. I just love them. Um, and that's about it. We are clean out of tackle here. So you got your, you know, all your stuff. So I might be doing a video later on on trying to catch some fish with it during the winter here. Um, but that's that's all I have for you guys today. 
Now, I did have another box that had some tackle in it, but I'm not sure where it went. I might come back to you guys in a minute with that, or later on. I'll have to extend this video into tomorrow if I do that, because I can't find my other box. I had another box of tackle I bought from Walmart. Um, it was very cheap, um, but it was like cheap tackle, and I wasn't expecting anything big from it. But here's the rattle trap. It does have some rattles in it. Um, I don't know. I like rattle traps. They're, they're nice. I, I like them. This one's beautiful. This one's particularly beautiful. And then, of course, the sticker we have, I told you guys about. I don't know where I'm going to put that sticker or what I'm going to do with it, but um, it looks swagalicious. All right, guys, turns out that I cannot find that other box. If I do find it, I'm not probably going to make a separate video about it. I'm just going to, it'll just be in my, you know, tackle box. So it's nothing really too exciting. It's just a bunch of crank baits and jerk baits that I got for extremely cheap regarding the overall price. Um, but before we go, before I end off this video, I am going to open up this last package that I got. I honestly do not know what's in here. I can't remember ordering this, but it has my name on it, so let's open it up. What is this? Well, I know what it is, but... Okay, hold up. I forgot two other things, but there's this one singular lure I got. I can't remember if I bought this or not. Honestly, can't remember buying. I don't remember buying this. Maybe I did buy it. Regardless, there's a popper right here. Um, it's a cheap, cheap popper. I can't remember how much I spent on this, but you can see it's by New Generally Generation Lures. It's, a, it's some Asian company. Um, but that's cool. Let me get two other lures out that I ordered previously. I just forgot to get them out. Hold up. Correction. There's one lure. Um, I got a bunch of mic things for my lapel mic because I lost my, my fluffy things. Anyway, I did get this jig, so that's a thing that happened. Booyah, bait. I actually got this for free. Um, if you want to know how to get free stuff in the world, what you do is you go online, and I know you might not like doing this, but when you go online and search something, if you use the, like the Bing engine or whatever, and you have to count with it or whatever, um, you'll rack up points and over time you can redeem it for money or like gift cards and stuff. So I use Bing even though I don't like it. The only, th I mean, the only thing I do on the internet is really watch YouTube. So I use Bing and um, I, you know, discovered, oh, I've got five bucks I can use on Amazon. So I used it on this and I got it for free basically. So I'm, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use it for fishing lures. I'm going to use it for Amazon cards um, like these or well, fishing lures like these. So that's going to do it for this video. I do not know where that other box went. I don't even know if I got it. It could have been lost in the mail. I'm going to stop talking because I don't want to make this into like a 30 minute video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If, you're, if you like this video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe because that really helps. Um, and of course, that's only if you like it because if you don't like it, then that makes no sense. And like, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, dislike it and tell me why. Um, and check out some other videos. This is Nashville Fish and Airsoft, and I'll see you next time.